Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great. So in today's class, we are going to discuss question number one from your paper one, 2023 and it belongs to your set A. Okay, so we are going to discuss this question number one. So I'm going to read this question. So this question says that the member of a firm rent cars from three rental agencies 60% from agency 1, so I'm writing 1 by 1, from agency 1, 60%, okay, 30% from agency 2, so I'm writing A2, then 30%, and 10% from agency 3. If 9% of cars um, from agency 1 need oil change, so here uh, a word added, which is your oil change, okay, oil change, so I'm assuming this one as A, a is any event which is representing oil change. So it is again saying that if 9% of the cars from agency 1, so I'm writing here 9% below this agency 1, 9% um, of the cars from agency 1 need an oil change, 20% of the cars from agency 2 need an oil change and 6% of car from agency 3 need an oil change. Then what is the probability that a rental car delivered to the firm will need an oil change okay so in this question we will use total probability theorem where a is representing the oil change and we all have studied about the total probability theorem in my previous videos i will drop the link of that video in the description box of this video okay and before going to uh, solve this question uh, i would like to tell you all that i am giving live classes for iss the new batch is going to start from your first march 2024 if you like to join for the iss 2025 you can directly dm on whatsapp either you can also um, contact me on my instagram right okay so we all have learned about the total probability theorem so uh, you can see that video also but directly i'm going to uh, write down that formula right uh, so if i'm assuming that a, a is any event which is associated with the rest of the event so according to the total probability theorem probability of a is always given as summation i going from 1 to n probability of ei into probability of a given ei right because this term oil change is associated with the agency 1, with the agency 2 and agency 3, right? So, you have to remember this formula which belongs to your total probability theorem. So, using this, we are able to find the probability that uh, is asked in the question. So, I'm reading that line again. Uh, it is saying that what is the probability, right? What is the probability that the rental car delivered to a firm will need an oil change? So, that is why we want to find out the probability of A, right? So, what are these informations that are given in the question? If I am assuming, so it is given in the question that a member of a firm rent cars from three rental agencies and 60% from agency one. So, we will assume that probability of E1. I'm taking E1 which is denoting the agency one. So, probability of E1 is 60%. So, 60% means 60 divided by 100 and we can write 0 0.6, right? Similarly, E2 is representing agency second. So, I'm writing probability of E2 is 30%. So, 30% means 0 0.3 and probability of E3, E3 for the last one. So, I am writing 0 0.1 here, okay? Now, what is this given? Because it is saying that if 9% of the cars from the agency one need an oil change, okay? oil change and agency one. So that means these are given the probability that need an oil change of the cars belonging to agency one. So agency one is representing by E1, right? And there is total 9% of the cars. So 9% means 0 0.09, right? Okay. Similarly, 20% of the car belonging to the agency two need an oil change. So that means probability of A need an oil change, but the car belongs to agency two. So probability A given E2, right? And it is given your 20%. So, I'm writing here 20%. So, 20% means 0.2. Okay. Similarly, probability of A given E3 for the last agency, it is given to you in the question, which is your 6%. That means 0 0.06. Okay. So, we have decoded uh, this question. Now, we have to use this formula to get the solution of this question. So, now it is very easy. Probability of A. So, as you can see, we have three agencies. So, I will move from 1 to 3. So, I can write probability of E1 into probability of a given e1 then plus i'm just opening the summation probability of e2 into probability of a given e2 plus probability of e3 into probability of a given 
E3. Okay, now putting the values, probability of E1 is 0 0.6, then into A given E1 is 0 0.09 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 plus 0.1 into 0 0.06 okay now you have to multiply every term so multiplying applying these two you will get 0 0.054 plus 0 0.06 then plus uh, 0 0.006 okay now adding all these two we will get 0 0.12 okay so here you can see in the question that it is written in option number d so that means option number d is the correct answer for this question hope you all like this solution please uh, like this video also drop your comments if you like uh, if you like to ask something then you can also directly dm me on instagram or you if you like to join my live classes for iss batch so you can uh, directly dm on my whatsapp either on instagram so whatever you like you can uh, contact me through so thank you for watching this video have a nice day